Hey guys, welcome back. Another video by jmadden184. And to all my new subscribers, a big welcome to my channel. The day has finally come, guys. Got some big news. Finally received my shipment of Bergia Nudibranchs from ReefPetSolutions.com. And I know this has been a long time in the making, as you guys have been following along my videos. You know, I just have this Aptasia issue that I've been trying to knock for quite some time. You know, this goes way back, you know, probably like a year ago when it started. And finally, I feel like I have the solution to my problem. As some of you have seen in previous videos, I've tried other methods to eradicate my tank of Aptasia first thing I tried was the Aptasia X which wasn't <laughs> working for me very well a lot of people have success stories with it I myself did not uh, the biggest issue I ran into was that I would inject the anemones the Aptasia anemones and they would kinda of melt away disappear for a little while but then they would just come back uh, the next thing I tried was peppermint shrimp. Uh, at the time I was trying peppermint shrimp, you know, I had some some wrasses that harassed them a lot, so they really didn't come out very much, and ultimately ended up getting consumed, so that didn't work, and plus some of my aptasias were really large and were actually big enough to ingest the peppermint shrimp, so that didn't work. The next thing I tried was the fish route. You know, there's a couple different fish out there that have been known to eat the Aptasia anemone, but they're not 100%, you know, uh, efficient at it. You know, it's not a guarantee if you get those fish. Uh, the first fish that I tried was the uh, bristletail filer fish, which over time did a really good job of eating the Aptasia but the biggest issue is that with that fish it's not really friendly to a lot of people's tanks you know a lot of people have LPS corals in their tanks you know and that fish will nip at it you know especially your A cans and those big meaty type corals so once all my Aptasia was apparently gone I went ahead and removed that fish and within just a couple of months the Aptasia was back so the issue there is the file fish along with the copper band butterfly fish which are both known for eating the Aptasia they can't consume the entire Aptasia you know they can bite it and pick on it and kind of keep it suppressed but if they don't eat a hundred percent of it and there's a little bit of a piece left of the foot of the Aptasia it's gonna grow back so ultimately the fish didn't work for me for a long time solution which has now led me to this here uh, getting these nudibranchs from the uh, reefpetsolutions.com quick shot here this is the uh, container that they came in which they're actually still in right now not sure how well the lighting is going to be here for you it's real early here in the uh, the tank lights are off and stuff, so yeah, it just comes in a little clear bottle like this. Let's see if we can get a shot of the actual new branches here. Yeah, right there, you can see one. Yeah, there's one. One in the back. I got six of these. Another one up there. Got six of these new branches. Uh, I decided to go with a low number, you know, because I didn't want to just invest a bunch of money in it, not really knowing how well they were going to do in my tank. Um, I did a little experiment with these before, you know, I, I introduced them into the system. What I decided to do was I actually took an Aptasia and I threw it in the bottle here. And when these nudibranchs are shipped to you, you know, they're kind of like a ghost, pale white color. And within five minutes, they were all over the Aptasia. And they kind of took on a little bit of a browner coloration to them. 
see if I can get a better shot here with some light for you guys. There we go, much better. Yeah. As you can see there, there's one in the back. There's some over here on the bottom. Yeah, so they consume the Aptasia, which is a great sign. So I was really happy about that, and I'm going to be getting ready here shortly to put these in the tank. Uh, they say that when you introduce these to the system, of course you want to acclimate them the same way you'd acclimate any other type of invertebrate, you know, match all your temperature, pH, all that good stuff. And when you put these into the tank, you know, you don't want to just pour them in. The recommended way to do it is you use a turkey baster of some sort or some kind of syringe that will not damage them because they are very delicate and you place them onto the rock where the Aptasia are and just let them do their thing. Um, I'd kind of like to do a video showing that process but right now with all the construction and stuff that's going around it's just it's kind of hard for me to get a, a video out like that so the next video you're gonna see regarding the nudibranchs is you're gonna see them in the system and hopefully they're feeding so to give you a quick look here this is the uh, the website that I use to get these nudibranchs you know reefpetsolutions.com you know they, they specialize in just the uh, Bergia nudibranch and I really have to agree with them, you know, they give a brief, you know, description of, you know, what Aptasia are, which we all know what it is, you know, and talk about how having a natural predator of the Aptasia is the best route to go. It's not a species that's going to damage other things in your system. You know, everybody has room for something like this, you know, as long as you don't have any predatory wrasses or anything like that. A lot of people, such as myself, you know, I don't want a lot of fish in my tank and I don't want to add any more fish, you know, so this is a good solution and I'm really going to try and document the process of these nudibranchs the best that I can to show if they work and if they work long term. So as my computer goes to sleep there, I guess I'll take that as a cue to go ahead and wrap this video up. As always guys, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate your comments, they're welcome. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Lots more videos to come and lots of updates yet to be seen on the 60 gallon system and follow along as I track the progress of these nudibranchs. Okay guys, this is Jay Madden 184 signing out. Take care all and happy reefing.